Have you ever thought about doing a uh, aileron roll in Bonanza? There's legalities involved, of course. And, uh, well, we're going to do an aileron roll. We're going to teach you how to do an aileron roll in Bonanza. Scott for doing today on Flywire. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do an aileron roll in this uh, Bonanza. It happens to be an F-33C aerobatic Bonanza, so it's legal to do this. I wouldn't try it at home if uh, you didn't have an F-33C or an E-33C, the aerobatic Bonanzas. So anyway, we're going to try that for just a second. So the first thing we want to do is we got to clear the uh, area, make sure there's nobody uh, else uh, that uh, interfere with us or we're going to interfere with them. Uh, so, and we also want altitude. Basically, you need to do you need to do aerobatics uh, not in an airway, not within four miles of an airway, and you want to do it above uh, 1,500 feet AGL. So for me, that means uh, probably a, above 4,000 or better. For a couple of reasons. One is, man, I don't like the ground. It's really hard, and uh, I don't want to play with it. So uh, I'm going to have lots of altitude. So if something goes wrong. I've got something goes wrong, I've got time to sort it out. That's what we're doing right now is we're climbing to altitude and we're getting ready to level off here. We're about 4,000 feet above the ground. We're going to do some clearing turns. All right, I'll accelerate a little bit here and I'm going to turn into a couple of 90 degree turns. And the Air Force, we used to do a G awareness turn. Uh, as part of that uh, area clearing device or maneuver uh, just to get the feel of it you know make sure you're feeling good and uh, you're good to go we do a couple of 90s or a hard uh, 180 something like that so i'm going to do basically a little more than a 180 degree turn to clear the whole airspace and get all the cameras pointed away from the sun sounds good all right so 140 knots is uh, basically the entry speed, 140-ish knots or the, is the entry speed for the Bonanza. And uh, in level flight, we're, uh, we're better than that, we're about 145. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the nose up. Any airplane's going to drop the nose uh, while it's uh, uh, rolling at G and uh, Mother Earth. One G acceleration is going to do that for us. And the way that the engine airplane is designed to fly upright instead of upside down. They don't have symmetrical wings. Even then, those airplanes are going to drop the nose. They all do. So uh, let's turn a little more and get, get out of the sun on that. So we're going to pop the nose up, and then we're going to unload it. Okay. We're going to unload the, the uh, G because if what we did was is hold the uh, back pressure all the way around, we're just going to barrel the turn, uh, barrel the roll, and it'll uh, take more time, use more energy, and be real sloppy. So we're not going to do that. We're going to pop the nose to unload it, then we're going to roll. A little bit of rudder into the roll. Uh, it's a turn, right? So we always lead with a little bit of rudder, and there we go. So here we go. Aileron roll. Bring the nose up. About 15 degrees. Pop it, and then roll. Roll all the way around. And the nose is going to be a little bit below the horizon. Roll the wings level, and then recover to the horizon. And we're pretty good. Yay, we did an aileron roll. So we're doing the same thing. To accelerate a little bit here. All right, we got our entry speed. Now again, we're gonna pull the nose up to about 15 degrees.
Uh, if you want to try it out, come fly with us, because that's what this airplane's all about. It's all about training and uh, teaching people how to do aerobatics, upset recovery, and use the latitudes, uh, learn a little bit, but expand their envelope uh, as a pilot, so that they're normal flying, so they can uh, stay away from the edges of the envelope. Anyway, that's the idea of that. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit subscribe. I appreciate that. And uh, hit the bell if you want notifications. And we'll see you next time on Flywire.